Leon and Spark, The Elephant Shark, by Emily Rushton. Chapter 8. The Biggest Surprise. But the shark doesn't swim away. Instead, he starts jerking, like my snapper in the chili bin. He looks in even more pain than before. I decide to keep singing to him. He looks at me again, and then suddenly, his whole belly shakes. Something is really wrong. His trunk reaches out to me through the water, and he makes a loud squeal. Bubbles erupt from his mouth and trunk, like a fizzy drink. I kick closer and gently touch his trunk. It's rough and warm. I stroke it and keep singing to him. It isn't long before Nana swims up next to me. I think I know what's happening, she says. Just then, a long, squiggly thing appears from near the back of the shark's belly with a cloud of murky stuff. I look at Nana. What's happening? There's something inside him and it's hurting him heaps. Yeah, but I don't think it's a him, Leon. I think she is having a baby. I can't believe it. Now I know everything will be okay. Nana's delivered lots of babies as a doctor. And Daddy's a nurse, so they'll make sure everything's all right. But they don't need to do anything. The shark gives a sudden squeeze and out pops a small grey blob. Now the water's really murky. The mama shark pulls her trunk out of my fingers and twists around to the grey blob. As the cloudy stuff slowly clears, I can see a small tail. The blob starts wriggling. It's a teensy tiny elephant shark. I'm pretty sure I've heard of elephant sharks. That's what they must be. I look around for Nana and Daddy and see they are both floating on the waves watching in amazement. Nana is smiling. She winks at me and reaches over to give my hand a squeeze. The three of us stay for a long time, bobbing above the ocean floor, just watching. I don't ever want to leave.